Hi, I'm Julie from the American Crochet Association. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the slanted puff stitch. For this tutorial, I'll be using Red Heart Creme de la Creme in the color Wood Violet. I'll also be using my Water Lilies hook from Happy Crochet Hooks in a size H, 5mm. We'll start out with a slip knot. The stitch has worked in multiples of three plus one, plus you'll need to add three for the base chain. For this example, I'm gonna start out by chaining 28. To start the first row, we'll make one double crochet in the fifth chain from the hook. The first three chains will count as your first double crochet of this row. Then we'll make one double crochet in the next chain. And now we'll make a puff stitch in the chain before the first double crochet we made. Yarn over and insert your hook into the chain. Then yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and insert your hook into the same chain. Then yarn over and draw up a loop. Then yarn over and insert your hook into the same chain. Yarn over and draw up a loop. Now yarn over and draw through all the loops on your hook. Now we'll skip one chain and make one double crochet in each of the next two chains. And now we'll make a puff stitch in the chain that we skipped. Yarn over and insert your hook into the chain. Yarn over and draw up a loop. And yarn over and insert your hook into that same chain. Yarn over and draw up a loop. And yarn over and insert your hook into the same chain. Yarn over and draw up a loop. And now yarn over and draw through all the loops on your hook. Now we'll skip one chain and make one double crochet in each of the next two chains. And now we'll make a puff stitch in the chain that we skipped. Yarn over and insert your hook into the chain. Yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and insert your hook into the same chain. Yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and insert your hook into the same chain. Yarn over and draw up a loop. Now yarn over and draw through all the loops on your hook. And now we'll skip one chain and make one double crochet in each of the next two chains. And now we'll make a puff stitch in the chain that we skipped. Continue working your way across until you have one chain remaining. In the last chain, we'll make one double crochet.
To start row two, chain three. This will count as your first double crochet. Then turn your work over. Now we'll skip one stitch and make one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. Then we'll make a puff stitch in the stitch that we skipped. Now skip one stitch and make one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. And now we'll make a puff stitch in the stitch that we skipped. Now skip two stitches and make one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. And now we'll make a puff stitch in the stitch that we skipped. Now continue working your way across until you have one stitch remaining. At the end of the row, we'll make one double crochet in the last stitch. To continue working this stitch, just repeat row two as many times as you'd like. 